Okay, so before I voice over all my video that I did, I'm just going to move things around. This is my final product. No, it's not final. Almost final. But I wanted to show you um, that I made this. Now, Maymay made it, called it uh, a three-page folio that she was using, as, as you will watch if I will put it in the description below. But if you watch her video, um, she's making this into a three-page folio for photographs that are four by six. And, and if you watch the whole thing, it's rather cool what she did. Then Nicole from Nicole Relax Cut and Glue made a few little changes and decided to call it kind of a folio glue book, I guess. And then <laughs> the next person was Carrie the Crafter and he made another version which I liked and hopefully have followed his instructions well. So what I've done here is followed his. I, I used this paper that came from the paper pack that I had bought at Michael's, remember, for $7.99. I don't know if that video went up. I'm sorry, I have had a rotten week. But this is the Ox Oxford Garden. Um, and that's what I used to cover these things. So when you open it up, when you open it up, I covered the little tuck pocket here. Now, I haven't put any signatures in that Carrie did. I plan on it, but at the time of this video, I was trying to do this today and mom was really difficult, so. And then we open it up here and I've covered another little tuck spot in here. Covered this page. I wanted this, because it closes, I wanted these to kind of match. And then when you open this up, it's some more beautiful paper. Sorry, I haven't been watching the video to see if I'm actually in focus. Then we flip this up, and this is another page. And then what Carrie did was, and I, I didn't watch Nicole's to the very end, so I don't know if she did the waterfall as well, but this is an eight page waterfall. These are five, I think five and a half by five and a half or five and a quarter. I'm not, I don't remember. I'll have to measure it. A little waterfall that you could um, do all kinds of things with. You can use this for all kinds of different things. You can use them to, uh, for happy mail to send off. You could also use magnets to close it. I don't have magnets to close it, so I'll probably use a Velcro. I could also make a hole, but I can't find my, um, what are those things called? The circles? Eyelets? Um, to put ribbon in there and wrap it around like that. So this is the final product. Now stay tuned for the rest of the video. It's long, I apologize, but I will show you what I did. So this is what I started with when I was watching Carrie the Crafter. I used the black the same as he did and um, this sort of three page folio. I'm just showing you the same sections I showed you a few minutes ago in my other one, but I haven't finished this one and I didn't put the waterfall in there. So that is basically what the folio looks like and I just wanted to share that with you and um, now I'm going to be using these are eight and a half by 11 regular cardstock I think these are the 65 pound weight ones I'm going to grab my scoreboard now on the 11 inch side 11 and a half eight and a half by 11 oh my gosh I'm going to be scoring the first one at five and a half. That's going to be the half page. 
and I'm going to score it down at five and a half and then fold it in half and that will be one of the sheets. The next ones that I'm going to um, that I'm going to score are the um, two other ones. They're going to be exactly the same, and there's three scores. There's one at three inches. There's one at nine, and at nine and a half. Now this is a little bit different than May May. The way she made it, she had it a quarter of an inch. But we're we're giving it a a, a half inch kind of um, side. So again, three nine and nine and a half. And that's it. That's all the scoring that we have to do. Depending on how thick your um, paper is, you may have to go over it a few times. But So that is it for the scoring. Now I'm going to be just folding all of the score lines. I didn't think it was necessary to talk through the whole folding process. So I'll just let you watch as I fold these and I'll be right back. So now that we got the two of them folded, we're going to put them side by side exactly the way they are folded, exactly the same. What we're going to do next is take the back of the second one and glue it to that smaller piece right there. Okay. Now you can use any kind of glue you want. I decided I'm going to use both um, my double-sided tape as well as my tacky glue or my Tombow, but I decided to use my tacky glue. Um, I've had it's been pretty good to me. I've, I've had good success with it. It hasn't, you know, come apart yet on some of my projects. So again, I'm going to speed this up a little bit and um, let you watch as I put these two together. Now you'll notice that I put it, I put it kind of together a little bit differently. I wanted to make sure that I could still fold that piece up. So we want it up to, but not against the score, score mark that's right there. It's a little bit off and that's okay. I mean, you know, sometimes they get a little bit off. You can trim it later. There's no big deal. Um, right now I'm just making sure that the glue is spread out well and that um, it's going to stay. I rather enjoyed putting this together. It was uh, one of the first times that I put two together and didn't make a heck of a lot of boo-boos like I usually do. So now we have as I, I was just showing you see it's off a little bit so I'm just going to take my little scissors it's just a tiny bit off and that's my fault because of the way I glued it down but anyway so that is what that that is put together so those two pieces are now put together the next thing I'm going to do is glue the other the third piece 
to this tuck spot and these are going to be tuck spots so what we're going to do I don't know what else you call those I've forgotten now but anyway I'm just showing you uh, the same place of where I put it where I glued it before so now what we have to do is glue the top and the bottom and I'm going to run a little bit of glue along the bottom so that it will keep that folded page um, in its place where it should be. So again, I'm just adding some glue to the top, to the bottom, and to the side, uh, along the side there. I was quite proud of myself that I actually made two that were, whoops, my phone, um, that were pretty good. They were, you know, I really was proud of, of how they turned out. Um, it's, it's really a, a simple format. And you can do so many things with these. You can use them to send mail. You can use them to add signatures in and use it as a glue book, use it as, as a um, junk journal, any kind of journal, a photo album. You can do all kinds of things like May May made hers a photo album. Now what I'm doing is just the top and the bottom of this flap on the first page so that I can have another tuck spot here. And we're almost done. It really doesn't take long to uh, put this together once you get going. I'm just making sure that my tacky glue is, is taking well, rubbing it right down. And now that's it. The only thing left is to decorate. So there are the two that I did, the black one. And like I say, I didn't put the waterfall in that, the, the, the first one. The second one I did. I showed you the finished product of that. But the black one I didn't yet. I haven't decided how I want to decorate it. But I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. Please check out the links below. And uh, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.